gelişiyor kız yani. So if you have read and understood some children get history technique questions, can you please begin? Hello, I'm Dr. Hiske, one of the surgical candidates. Can you please tell me your name and age? My name is Smith. My age is 54 years. Nice to meet you, Smith. What has brought you here today? Uh, I have difficulty in eating uh, for the last 10 months. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about it. Can I ask you a little more detail about your condition? Uh, yes, sure. When did you notice it first? Uh, I don't remember what I was doing, but it's uh, nearly a year that I have this problem. Okay. So uh, does it, did it occur suddenly or gradually? Uh, it gradually occurred. Okay. Is your problem uh, progressively increasing in severity? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, do you have pain during swallowing? Uh, I have discomfort. I do not have pain. Okay. Do you have uh, discomfort or difficulty in swallowing both liquid or solid or both? Previously it was solid, but now uh, it is with liquid too. All right. Uh, do you notice any uh, lump or swelling in your throat? No. Do you have any foul smelling breath? No. Do you have any gargling sound after eating? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, how is your appetite? My appetite is decreased. I do not want to eat. Oh, I'm so sorry. Have you noticed any change in your weight? Yes, I have lost uh, at least eight kilogram weight in just two months. How Oh, that's so sick. Uh, so, uh, nowadays, can you eat anything? Can you? What do you say? Eat anything like you have told me that you have difficulty in both liquid and I, solid. It's just now I am on liquid diet. I cannot eat solid. All right. So do you have any history of any uh, taking any corrosive like any acids or any anything like this? No, no. Do you have any history of any instrumentation? Any? No. All right. Uh, so, uh, do you have any other problem uh, with this? With your difficulty with swallowing? Yes, food come in my, my uh, liquid come in my mouth, come back. That is the problem. Uh, do you food, uh, does your food get stuck? In your throat? Not in the throat, in my middle of the chest. It sometimes right. stuck, so I am on liquid diet. Uh, have you ever thrown throw, throw out? So sometimes I have to vomit. Okay. Does it contain blood? Sometimes it is pink in color. All right. Uh, so do you have any change in your bowel habit? No. All right. Do you have uh, have you noticed any weakness in any part of your body? Uh, no, no. All right. So but overall, I'm lethargic. Any... Oh, I'm so sorry. Have you? Uh, do you have any past medical history for which you have to go to GP regularly? Past? Uh, no, as such, no history. But do you have any history of any operations previously? Uh, no. 
are you aller any uh, allergic to any food or any medications uh, no are you taking any medications for your problems right now yes i am taking anti ulcer medications all right can i ask you some personal questions yes yes what's your occupation i am a school teacher okay whom do you live with i live with my wife and children all right uh do you smoke yes i am a smoker how many sticks per day for how long uh, 20 cigarettes for the last 15 years okay do you drink alcohol yes i am alcoholic how many units per day i i roughly use 6 units per week all right so what's your idea about your condition i think there is some uh, blockage in my food pipe okay uh, wh what are you most concerned about i want to relieve this blockage i am so annoyed okay we will definitely try to do that what do you expect from us i expect that uh, whatever you can do for me either operation or anything else do it yeah sure uh, is there any family member suffering from such kind of illness uh, no no okay do you have any chest pain due to it i have uh, chest discomfort i have uh, do you have any back ache no any cough no no okay thank you mr smith i think we have covered most of the things do you want to add anything else uh no and no, now i think you have asked me several questions and uh, uh you you should ask me about uh, the a uh, swelling in my neck you should ask this question yes i asked you okay so okay uh, so i have taken history from mr smith yes. uh, who is having a difficulty in swallowing for last two years uh, pre, uh, previous sorry 10 months previously he is having problems of uh, uh, difficulty in swallowing with uh, with the solid food but it progressively increased in severity and now he is also having problem with difficulty with swallowing liquid and he has uh, lost his around weight loss okay weight what loss. are your provisional and differential diagnosis yes my provisional diagnosis is carcinoma esophagus yes. and my differential diagnosis are corrosive ingestion or any history of any instrumentation any uh, esophagitis uh, any uh, myasthenial gravis okay or uh, how would yes. you confirm your diagnosis yes after taking a, a more detailed history and physical examination i'll do some investigations and i for confirmation of the my diagnosis i'll do uh, upper gi endoscopy upper gi endoscopy with biopsy what treatment and, alternatives can you offer to the patient yes after uh, diagnosis of the disease i will stage and grading uh, with the biopsy and stage with the ct scan uh, of the chest and then according to the stage and level of the uh, level of the carcinoma like it is upper or middle third or lower third uh, we will go for esophagectomy and resection and anastomosis and we with uh, with with or without chemo radiotherapy chemotherapy and radiotherapy okay and if it is not uh, upper inoperable yes. then we will go for some palliative surgery uh, like feeding jejunostomy or gastrojejunostomy uh, okay. gastrostomy particularly gastrostomy and first after diagnosis when i ask you about uh, management then you'll say after making the diagnosis we'll discuss the management in mdt then we'll do like this because yes. whenever it's carcinoma you always have to discuss uh, complicated cases especially carcinoma in mdt and with the decision yes. of mdt then you take out and you carry out further management okay good uh, mdt was missing everything else was fine good thank you